As an interior designer who works every day with SketchUp and Enscape, I'm always looking for the updates that actually make a difference in my day-to-day -day workflow. And Chaos has released some amazing things in 2025. Today, I want to walk you through my three favorites, the ones that generally change how fast and how clearly we design and we present to our clients. And what I love is that they follow the exact same order than a real project. We start by exploring ideas, then we build the scene, and finally we get the design ready for presentation. So first, Veras. To be honest, this one I wasn't expecting to be using as much. Before, if I wanted to test like quick ideas, I had to jump like between different tools. I would need to export my image, I would need to run variations, bring them back inside. I mean, you get the idea. Now, Veras is inside of Enscape, so you stay in your model, and here you can try different styles, you can switch the mood, you can test materials and lighting, and you can get instant feedback while the project is still evolving. For early ideation, this is such a game changer. It really helps you enter the design phase with a lot more clarity. Once you know where you're going visually, the next step is always the same, building the scene. This is where the new Chaos library has become really, really useful. Chaos added a lot of new assets this year, over 3,500 assets, especially interior-focused ones with much better quality and a much larger choice. What I like the most is that how easy it is to navigate and to integrate them inside of your model. All of these are categorized, so they're really easy to search. So for example, if we go in furniture and maybe we're looking for a chair or a stool, you can easily find them inside of the library. Simply pick what you're looking for, export it, drop it into your scene, and that's it. No long downloads, no searching for hours in SketchUp Warehouse. Everything is seamlessly integrated inside of Enscape. It sounds simple, but this is honestly the most time-consuming part of our job. With a stronger Cosmos library, your space comes to life faster and you can focus on design decisions instead of asset management. And finally, the update that I love for client presentations, selective asset exclusion in white mode. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have never heard of this, and this is absolutely amazing. Now, if you used white mode before, you know that it's great to show clean architectural visuals without the destruction of materials. But sometimes white mode actually hides things that you want to keep. If you've used white mode before, you know that it's great to showcase clean architectural visuals without the destruction of materials. But sometimes white modes hides things like you actually want to show. Now with white mode, you can actually choose what you want to show and what you want to hide. So if you go in visual settings, install mode, and you change it to white, you can see here there's a new tab that opens. For designers, this really solves a lot of frustration. So for example, I am a landscape designer and I want to showcase only the the trees and the different plant variations that I've added inside of my of my scene, but I don't want to put the focus on the house. So simply select here, for example, vegetation, and all the vegetation will appear in color, putting the focus of your client onto the actual vegetation and not the house. This is a really great feature. This allows you to have full control on the story that you want your clients to see. If I zoom in on my SketchUp model right here, Let's say that, for example, I want to put the focus on these chairs that are, are custom made. I simply go into my visual settings window and I'm going to select here objects that I want to select. So let's just select all of these chairs here and then click here on apply changes. And you'll see here suddenly the chairs appear in color versus all the rest being in white mode and really the focus of this render is on the chairs and not on the house by itself. If you simply want to remove everything that you've selected, just click here and it will raise all of your selection. It might seem like a small feature, but it really makes a huge difference in your final renders. So that's my top three chaos features in 2025. And honestly, I love how naturally they fit inside a real design workflow. Ideate with Veras, build with chaos, and present with clarity using selective asset exclusion. If you want me to make a video breaking down each of these features that I've presented throughout this workflow, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.